Hello there, my name is Ella and today we are going to paint hair. This video is a part of a material study series that is designed as a month-long YouTube series, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos. So throughout the whole series I was always painting on a isometric cube, but in this case, because we're painting hair today, Hair doesn't really follow the structure of this cube, so cube is just here to represent a lighting setup because light source is coming from the top left corner onto our cube, so this part is going to be the lightest, this part is going to be slightly, slightly in shadows and the right part is going to be completely in shadows, so that's what we are going to implement into painting our hair. Here I made a sketch, I'm going to lower the opacity of the cube so you can see basically the sketch. So today I'm going to use two brushes, they are really basic ones. First one is hard run pressure opacity and second one is soft run pressure opacity. Those two brushes usually come with Photoshop and I believe with most of the painting softwares. I like to use this hard run pressure opacity because when we paint with, with this brush it actually builds up and create that volume as you can see like in these parts but throughout the whole series i was actually only using those two brushes so but for hair this one is just perfect second what i like to recommend you can use and feel free to download free brushes you can really find a lot of free brushes out there and ones that i recommend are from paintable academy free hair brushes so i have them right here and as you can see those brushes are pre-made for painting hair as you can see they're really made for making uh, for painting hair and adding that volume and a lot of little hairs feel free to use them but if you don't have them and you don't want to download them for some reason i will show you how to do with only those two brushes basic brushes from the photoshop so i lower the opacity of the cube but i'm also going to i'm actually going to group those two and lower the opacity of the sketch also then on a new layer underneath that group i'm gonna name that group sketch so i'm going to use a lasso tool this one i'm going to select and place my base color first i'm gonna place shadows to really indicate the direction of the hair flows and how the hair behaves let's say and to make it easier to understand, think about the roots, the place from where the hair grows and how it naturally falls. So in that way, it is easier to understand how to place shadows now and highlights later. So make a new layer and by pressing Alt on the keyboard, you'll see this little arrows, which means clip mask. And we're gonna just clip it. What that basically means when we want to paint something inside this shape, it only stays inside this shape. So I can paint right here, but as you can see, because this layer is clipped, it will only appear inside this shape. I'm going to use this soft run pressure opacity brush. I'm going to size up a little bit my brush and color pick this darker color. So now I'm gonna use hard round, hard round brush to make more precise strokes and to indicate this direction of the hair. Our hair flows in different directions. So it goes like straight down, it goes to the right like every stroke is pretty much in its own flow the only let's say complicated thing right here is to make that hair flow so that is why placing shadows uh now and highlights later is the most important thing to create that volume and flow of the hair so just continue to work on those shadows and build up to create that illusion of 
flow and volume. Don't dig too much because hair is really unpredictable and every stroke and every hair is basically really random. And by the way, please uh, know that this is my way of painting hair and this is something that I came to conclusions when I was studying hair. I was trying to really simplify the whole process to make it more understandable to other people but there's definitely a lot of techniques, a lot of different ways of painting hair. Right now I want to add a little bit more color because at this point it looks really pale so that's why I'm gonna color pick this a little bit more saturated color that I have prepared and maybe with soft run brush just slightly add it to some parts. by pressing Control u on the keyboard. This little panel hue saturation comes up and here we can adjust our color, we can add a little bit more saturation, we can change basic the color but we're not gonna do that. And we can add lightness or, or make it even more darker. So that's why I'm gonna adjust a little bit, just a little bit more. Next step is to add some highlights. So make a new layer and clip it to the base shape layer. I'm going to combine these two brushes to make it to make those highlights and see what fits the best. So this layer is going to be uh, our mixed layer and here we're gonna blend those highlights and shadows, adjust the colors and start painting more details. Okay, now you saw me do some uh, adjustments, do more shadows, um, define those highlights. What I want to show you, what I also did, is to make this mask. And by using that tool, we can really make different shapes. And even though if we don't like it later on, we can go back and fix them. And I'm gonna demonstrate and explain exactly how. So if you wanna mask a shape and that layer, Click this icon right here. So when you click that, I'm just gonna demonstrate on this layer, you'll see this little square will pop up. And that's actually our mask. Make sure to stay on this white part and not on the base shape layer. And by using a brush and color black, 
we can erase some parts of our shape or shape it or whatever you want to call it but if you want to bring it back and you want to work on the on that shape later on you can use white and bring back oops and bring back those parts that you erased for example right here i think this part should be more visible like so okay moving on so what i basically made are some shadows highlights and then defined uh, shadows and highlights together at this stage feel free to use hair brushes but if you're not feeling like using hair brushes and you want to strictly work with those two brushes we're gonna do that okay now let's add some details i'm gonna stay on this layer because this layer uh, because on this layer we, we are only just building up all of the volume and dynamics so i'm just gonna stay on that layer i'm gonna work on these parts and just to add a little bit more depth and, and shadows on this part of the hair If you found any value in this video, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. It really supports me and my channel. Make sure to check out my coffee page for some free downloadables as well as my full updates on the whole studies. Everything will be linked down below. Stay awesome guys and keep creating. Bye!